Divalent ionic crystals. Barium oxide has the sodium chloride structure. Estimate the cohesive energies per molecule of the hypothetical crystals barium plus oxygen minus and barium plus plus oxygen minus minus referred to separated neutral atoms. The observed nearest neighbor internuclear distance is R0 equals 2.76 angstroms. The first and second ionization potentials of barium are 5.19 and 9.96 electron volts and the electron affinities of the first and second electrons added to the neutral oxygen atom are 1.5 and minus 9.0 electron volts. The first electron affinity of the neutral oxygen atom is the energy released in the reaction O plus uh, electron uh, goes to O minus. The second electron affinity is the energy released in the reaction O minus plus an electron giving O double minus. Which valence state do you predict will occur? Assume R0 is the same for both forms and neglect the repulsive energy. For the sodium chloride structure, we have the Madelon constant 1.747565, uh, that's given in the text. The uh, nearest neighbor distance, uh, internuclear distance, is 2.76 angstroms, and we're neglecting the repulsive energy and assuming the same R0 value for both forms. Recall that the Madelon energy per ion pair the Madlung energy per ion pair is minus Madlung constant alpha Q square over R0 and if we're working in SI we have a 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 here. This is the SI formula. Okay, and this charge, uh, the state of the, the valence state uh, for a, a positive charge on barium and negative charge on uh, oxygen is one electron charge. So that's for barium plus O minus and this charge is two electron charges for barium plus plus barium losing two electrons and oxygen gaining two electrons. So we can calculate the Madlung energy for barium plus O minus. It is because it's the sodium chloride structure, we have uh, the Madelon constant minus 1.747565 multiplied with the electron charge 1.610 to minus 19 coulombs square divided by R0 2.76 10 to minus 10 meters and then we have 9 times 10 to 9 uh, new, uh, newtons meter square divided by coulomb square that's the coulomb constant and this gives us a value minus 1.46 times 10 to minus 18 joules if i divide it by the electron charge it is minus 9.11 electron volts. And similarly, I can calculate the Madlung energy for uh, barium plus plus oxygen minus minus. So that's going to be because I have instead of Q is equal to E, Q is equal to 2E and I have Q square in the Madlung energy, that that will be uh, four times the Madlung energy of the barium plus O minus, and that will give me minus 36.47 electron volts. 
Okay, now first ionization energy of barium was 5.19 eV, so barium plus 5.19 electron volts, I obtain barium plus, plus the electron. So it releases an electron and oxygen uh, first electron affinity is uh, so oxygen gains an electron it's going to be in O minus state and it this releases an energy 1.5 electron volts that's the first electron affinity so if I combine these two so neutral barium atom plus neutral oxygen atom 5.19 eV added to have uh, ionization of barium and then we obtain barium plus and O minus and 1.5 eV released due to the first electron affinity of oxygen the net energy uh, added to the system is uh, 5.19 eV minus 1.5 eV. So this is equal to 3.69 electron volts. And when you obtain barium plus and O minus in order to form the crystal, barium plus O minus ionic crystal, we're going to release an energy 9.11 electron volts that is the Madlung energy so the total energy cost is uh, we release 9.11 we spent 3.69 therefore it's minus 5.42 electron volts and we conclude that the cohesive energy of uh, barium plus O minus is uh, 5.42 electron volts. So that's the amount of energy we have to add to separate these uh, ions to uh, infinite separation uh, at rest. On the other hand, if we work with the uh, barium plus plus, now remember that we have to add to barium 5.19 eV to obtain barium plus plus an electron, so it releases an electron, and then we have to add to uh, so this is plus an electron and then we have to add to barium plus 9.96 electron volts second ionization energy to obtain barium plus 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 an electron so uh, that was the second ionization energy 9.96 electron volts uh, or we can summarize this as to a neutral barium atom, you need to add a net energy of 15.15, the sum of 9.96 and 5.19 electron volts, to obtain barium plus plus. And now coming to oxygen, for oxygen we have to add The first electron affinity, so we when we add an electron to oxygen, we will obtain O minus and an energy of 1.5 electron volt will be released. First electron affinity. Then we have an electron added to O minus. Now this requires additional energy because electron affinity is negative. So we have to add 9 electron volts to obtain O2 minus. 
All right. And uh, this implies that we have, uh, in summary, to a neutral oxygen atom, we have to add a net amount of 7.5 electron volts to obtain O double minus. So we can summarize this as a neutral barium atom plus a neutral oxygen atom we have to add 15.15 EV for ionization of barium and 7.5 EV for the oxygen to gain electrons uh, to obtain finally barium plus plus and O minus minus. Uh, this will have a total energy cost of 22.65 electron volts. 15.15 plus 7.5 and now we have the two ions barium double plus and oxygen double minus this is going to form a crystal ionic crystal barium double plus O double minus crystal the crystal has a medlang energy 36.47 electron volts remember this is a negative energy, 36.47, so it is released. Therefore, we find that the total energy cost to obtain this crystal, delta E net, will be minus 36.47 plus 22.65, which is minus 13.82 electron volts. So this tells me that the cohesive energy of barium plus plus or minus minus in order to separate these ions and form neutral atoms is 13.82 uh, electron volts okay so this is the uh, total amount of energy that must be added uh, so since the cohesive energy Uh, we have obtained here 13.82 is greater than 5.42 cohesive energy of barium plus plus O minus minus uh, crystal is higher. We conclude that barium plus plus O double minus crystal is more stable. All right. So we talked about uh, the divalent ionic crystals. We're looking at hypothetical crystals, barium plus or minus and barium double plus oxygen double minus referred to separated neutral atoms and um, therefore we have to consider the ionization energies and electron affinities of oxygen ionization energy of barium the nearest neighbor distance is 2.76 angstroms the uh, the first and second ionization and the first and second electron affinities are given uh, for oxygen and barium and now we can use uh, the Medlang energy for each crystal to uh, not taking into account the repulsive energy to evaluate the, the most stable valence state. So which valence state uh, is more stable? Since they are forming a sodium chloride structure, alpha medlang constant is known, R0 is known. Therefore, we can calculate the medlang energy where Q is equal to one electron for the uh, valence state valence uh, barium plus oxygen minus and two electrons for double plus and double minus so we find that the medlang energy of barium plus O minus is minus 9.11 EV for the double plus and double minus we have minus 36.47 EV uh, so first we have to add 5.19 EV to ionize barium and then we in order to add an electron to oxygen we uh, release 1.5 electron volts and starting from neutral atoms, 
we add 5.19, we release 1.5, total 3.69 EV to obtain barium plus and O minus ions. Uh, for these ions to form the crystal, we need, nine, uh, we need to release 9.11 EV. So 9.11 released, 3.69 spent, total amount of energy is minus 5.42 electron volts. That's the cohesive energy of this crystal referred to neutral atoms so let me clarify that this is referred to neutral atoms so that means that's the amount of energy you have to provide to separate these ions to infinite separation at rest and in neutral form on the other hand if we do the same exercise for barium double plus we need to add a total of 15.15 .15 electron volts to get the double plus state and for oxygen we need to first release 1.5 electron volts and then add 9 electron volts to a total 7.5 electron volts added to obtain the double minus state so starting from neutral atoms we have to add 22.65 electron volts to obtain to the double valence state and uh, in order to form the crystal, we have to release the Madlung energy, 36.47 electron volts. So total energy released is 13.82 electron volts, referred to neutral atoms. Referred to neutral atoms. So the cohesive energy referred to neutral atoms is 13.82 electron volts, which is larger than 5.42 electron volts. Therefore, the barium double plus or double minus crystal is more stable.